hi all here i am going to uh, take a class about hurdle technology first of all what is hurdle technology in food processing it is a combination of various preservation factors called hurdles that is hurdles are combined together to form this hurdle technology in food processing improve it improve microbial stability sensory property nutritional quality and economic safety of foods mainly used against gram positive bacteria such as clostridium bacillus and listeria clostridium bacillus and listeria the hurdle effect was first highlighted by lesner in 1978 the main principles of hurdle technology includes first is homeostasis that second is metabolic exhaustion and stress reaction of our body the body of microorganism this is the principle hurdle is used for food preservation first parameter is first is parameter second symbol third is application first parameter includes high temperature and it is expressed in symbol f the application is heating second of hurdle technology is low temperature and is expressed by t then applications are chilling freezing thawing etc and reduced third is reduced water activity and uh, expressed by aw and then water act symbol of water activity and then applications are drying curing conserving etc and fourth is increased acidity and ph is the expression or symbol and applications are acid addition or formation of acids in the food products then reduced the redox potential and the application is removal of oxygen or addition of ascorbate redox potential redox potential reduced redox potential by removal of oxygen or addition of ascorbate then biopreservatives uh, improves the competitive flora such as microbial fermentation occurs and other preservatives are used such as chemical preservatives such as sorbates sulfates nitrates etc these are the high temperature low temperature reduced water activity increased acidity reduced redox potential biopreservatives and chemical preservatives etc are the important hurdles used for hurdle technology and these are the applications heating includes uh, sterilization pasteurization etc then chilling freezing drying curing and serving acidic formation addition then removal of oxygen or um, addition for scorbid competitive flora uh, formation then sorbates sulfates nitrates addition etc hurdles are classified into physical hurdles physico chemical hurdles and microbially active hurdles or microbially derived hurdles the physical hurdles include aseptic packaging electromagnetic energy chemising loads microwave radio frequency pulsed magnetic fields high electric field then high temperature includes blanching pasteurization sterilization evaporation extrusion baking frying etc then ionizing radiation low temperature includes freezing chilling then modified atmosphere packaging modified uh, modified atmosphere then packaging films includes active packaging edible coatings etc then ultra high temperatures then ultra sonifications then uv radiation etc are the physical hurdles that is especially physical methods of hurdles then physico chemicals include mainly chemical methods such as carbon dioxide ethanol lactic acid lactoperoxidase low ph low redox potential low water activity miller reaction process organic acids auto oxygen ozone phenols phosphate salts smoking sodium nitrate surface treatment agent etc then microbially derived hurdles include competitive flora protective cultures bacteriocins and antibiotics these are the physical hurdles which include high temperature sterilization pasteurization and blanching then low temperature include chilling and freezing then uv radiation then ionizing radiation then electromagnetic energy includes microwave energy radio frequency energy oscillating magnetic field pulses and high electric field pulses then photodynamic inactivation then ultra high pressure then ultrasonication then packaging film such as plastic multi layer active coating and edible coating then modified atmospheric packaging loads gas packaging vacuum packaging moderate vacuum and active packaging then aseptic packaging then food microstructure the physico chemical hurdles includes low water activity low ph and redox potential salt nitrite nitrate carbon dioxide oxygen ozone organic acids lactic acids lactate 
acetic acid, acetate, ascorbic acid, sulfate, smoking, phosphates, gluconolactones, then phenols, then ethanols, then spice herbs, etc. This is an example of multiple hurdle technology. All hurdles the same intensity shows in the first picture. Then all hurdles are different intensity. Then low initial microbial load and good hygienic practice. Then high initial microbial load. Then low initial microbial load, more nutrients. Then subcellulizing treatment, damage to cells, etc. These are the advantages of huddle technology. First is shelf life, shelf stable products. In huddle technology, we go the products with the shelf stable products. The good shelf life products are uh, derived from this huddle technology. Then superior quality of the products. Then significant synergistic effect between huddles. And results in the inactivation of microbial cells or spores. Thanks for watching this slide and stay safe and healthy.